is Channel 9 Eyewitness News, covering the Carolinas. Tomorrow's pretty big because our big collection of Steve's Coats for Kids begins. Yes, and we're hoping to collect thousands of coats for local children who don't have them. Right, Erica and Blair, when a child doesn't have a warm coat, it can literally affect their whole day. And educators, educators see it a lot. But your donations are helping some of them step in and make sure their students stay warm. Oh, this is good for my twins. I have two sets of twins in my elementary year. Monet Sims isn't picking up coats for her own kids. She's getting them for some of the 100 students she works with at Westerly Hills Academy in West Charlotte. She's seen too many of them show up for school without a warm coat. A lot of our families are, I can't even say just making it by. They're trying to figure out how to just make it by. That would probably be a great benefit for them if they could just make it by. Jason Walker sees the same thing at the CMS Performance Learning School. Some of his teen students are also young parents, which is why he's looking at not just bigger coats for them, but baby sizes too. That dark blue one back there might be good. He knows firsthand what a difference our annual coat drive makes. Anytime there's a community that can come together for a common purpose to serve the needs in the community, it's such a great and, and, and privileged honor to be able to do just that. Crisis Assistance Ministry distributes the thousands of coats we collect each year. Carol Hardison runs the organization and told me many of her clients are people who have simply run out of options. It's a person who never imagined that they wouldn't have the money to buy a coat for their child, that they would risk sending their children to school without the ability to keep them warm. And that's where we're stepping in to help. Every coat we collect will go to a child in need, like some of the 90 that Adrienne Kane works with at Whitewater Middle School. Well, I'm sure they'll be grateful and they won't be cold anymore, so it'll be a big help to the students.